DDU, one of the cornerstones of my arsenal when dealing with GPU issues. Now, of course, this is limited to handling software-related issues and on hardware issues. But most issues occur when using a PC boot into Windows, as I imagine not a lot of people like to mess with their hardware as often as I do. So with that being said, let's together fix whatever is messing with our victory owls. For context, the background gameplay on screen right now is from the MSI laptop that I've been optimizing. And as you can see, we're getting well over 150 FPS, but as I play around, my game is freezing slash lagging, especially when fighting. The freezing and lagging is not noticeable in the recording, but I can assure you that it is lagging and people with the same issue know what I'm talking about. Now that we've established what the issue looks like, let's solve it. Before we get started, I'd like to mention that this tool is experimental and that you're doing this at your own risk. But if you follow the steps outlined in this video, you should be okay as this tool's main work is to thoroughly uninstall driver files mentioned right here. So it's not like we're doing something risky like deleting Windows 32 files, which would be more insane. With that being said, the software we'll be using to fix these GPU issues, as you may have guessed, is DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller. The gist of DDU is basically that it attempts to eliminate GPU issues by thoroughly uninstalling all old, corrupt, and possibly damaged residual GPU driver files completely, leaving you with a clean slate for when you reinstall your new up-to-date drivers. Now to begin, we first need to download the files for our new up-to-date drivers for a later step. If you've never done this before, I'll have links in the description for both AMD and NVIDIA drivers in the description and I'll quickly show how to know what drivers to install. To figure out your GPU, open Task Manager, head to Performance, and then click on GPU. Here it will tell us what GPU you have here at the top. And with this information, we can install the right drivers. Starting with NVIDIA on product type, put in GeForce as most of you should have that. On product series, take the first two numbers of your GPU. So if you have an RTX 2060, then you should have a 20 series card and choose Notebook if you're on a laptop. Then on the products, choose your GPU variant. For me, that's the RTX 2060. From here, choose your operating system. Do game ready drivers and press search and then click download on the next screen for AMD drivers it's a bit more simple to find your drivers and all you need to do is search right here on the search bar for me I have an RX 6700 XT so I'll be searching for that in the search bar and once you find it select it on the drop down and click on submit below on the next page click on the drop down of your operating system and install AMD software adrenaline edition now leaving the driver files aside some are accessible to find for later you can now install DDU to install DDU head to the link in the description and open a website where we can install DDU then click on the official download here to start downloading DDU. The last step is to now disable your network or basically your internet. In the Windows search bar, search View Network Connections and open it. Then right click on Wi-Fi or Ethernet, whichever you're using, and the options available, and click on Disable to disable your internet. With our network disabled, we can now technically use DDU, but we can instead do it in safe mode for some reassurance that the process will run smoothly. If you want to boot into safe mode, you can watch this video right here now on the top right corner. Also, I'll to mention that DDU automatically creates a system server point just in case, so we can revert any changes, which can come in handy. Now, whether or not you're in safe mode, you can now go to where you install DDU and extract the zipped folder. Open the extracted folder and open the DDU application as indicated by its file type. Once opened, just click on next until you're on the application itself. On the right, select GPU for device type and for select like device type, choose the brand of your GPU. With that being said, go ahead and choose the clean and restart option on the left to start the process. Now, after DDU, all you need to do is install the driver files for the GPU in our PC. I'm pretty sure I don't need to guide you through this, but just in case, just press next on both the AMD and NVIDIA driver installation process. For both of the processes, we keep our settings as all that does is it resets the customized settings we've done in NVIDIA's control panel or AMD's adrenaline settings. One particularity for AMD CPU owners with an AMD GPU is that you'll need to also install your chipset drivers as it gets cleared out with the AMD GPU drivers when using DDU. And to install your chipset drivers, all you need to do is figure out our chipset and install the correlating chipset drivers from AMD. To find out your motherboard, press the Windows key plus R to open run and in the text box type in MS Info 32 and click on OK. In the list of items, find system model and that's where we'll find our motherboard chipset. Now we can head to the AMD driver website with the same link we used to install our GPU drivers. Now remembering our motherboard chipset, if it started with 3, 4, or 5, then go with AM4, or if it started with 6, then go with AM5. Now if there's an extra letter on your chipset, when you check system info and you see that option, then go with that. But if you're in the same situation like me with B550M, then just go with the closest resembling option. And for me, that's B550. Since we've just done DDU, go ahead and install the chipset drivers. And if it doesn't tell you to automatically restart, then restart after it finishes installing. Now that we're on the same page, you can now re-enable our internet and give our game another try. And on the first startup, your issue should be resolved with maybe a little bit of hitching as the memory cache is building up. The memory cache is essentially data that is stored to increase efficiency when running all sorts of applications and DDU clears this out. So don't be alarmed if a little bit of lag is present on the first boot up. That'll be it for me. And if you enjoyed this video, consider giving a like, a share, or subscribe to show your support. I've also recently opened the Super Thanks button for those who want to directly help me in create these videos. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.